Okay, I made a simple beat, and I have this sound. But I would like this sound to go like da do da do da do. I think I can do that with the LFO. So depth, I guess, to 12, right? As in 12 semitone. Okay, get in there. Speed six. Speed twelve. How do I sync it to the beat? BPM thirty-two BPM. What the hell is going on here? Okay, BPM thirty-two. Speed twelve. What the hell is going on? Hi everyone, Sora J here. Today we're gonna try and understand exactly how the speed and the multiplier parameter work on the LFO in all the electron devices. If you wanna know about all the other parameters, there is plenty of amazing material on YouTube. But today we're gonna focus on the speed and on the multiplier. And today I'm gonna show you a practical method to sync it to your bit and use it right away in a simple way. Let's go. So believe it or not, there is a formula to derive how the LFO is gonna sync to your bit. And the formula is this one. So I don't even remember my age, so I don't want to do math when I make music. And I'm going to show you a very simple trick to avoid any fraction, multiplication, or whatever. So you start with speed at 16, and by the way, when you press funk and you move the speed knob, it goes in discrete intervals. So you start to 16. And then, easy to remember, the multiplier should be on the BPM mode, and you put it to 32. So 16 times 2, to remember, 32. 16, 32, beat. Daru, daru. An LFO cycle takes exactly one beat to complete. This is great, right? 16 speed, 32 multiplier. There you go, you have quarter notes. Then from now, it's kind of easy because if you want to go faster, if you want to have um, eight, if you want to... You just move the multiplier by one step and it goes to 64. If you want a 16, guess what? You move the multiplier again. 16 notes. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. So now you might wonder, what if I put the BPM to 16 and the speed to 32? So I divide one by two and multiply the other by two. Yeah, exactly same result. If you want to know all the possible combination with which you can obtain a certain division, there is a table on the Digitact and Syntact manual. But what this table doesn't tell you is the following fact. And here it comes another very useful trick. Let's go back to 32 for our multiplier. So now we have quarter notes. What if I want to do triplets? That's also quite easy. You hold funk again, and you move the speed to a multiple of three. So a number that divided by three gives an integer. 24 divided by three, eight. So we are wearing 16 and 32. Quarter notes. I go one step holding function to a number that is divided by three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Triplets. You want to go faster with triplets? Keep the speed at a multiple of three and move the multiplier. One, two, three, 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 Easy, right? So to recap, start with speed at 16 and multiplier at 32, and you're going to have quarter notes. One cycle of LFO is exactly one quarter note. One, 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 one. You want to go faster? Eight notes. Ta, 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 ta. Sixteen. Move the multiplier. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You want to switch to triplets? Go to a multiple of three in the speed. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. If you want to know why Electron implemented LFO rate in this way, 
rather than using quarter notes, dotted quarter notes, eight notes, dotted eight notes, like every other synth or hertz for the speed, I have no clue. We should ask an oracle or, I don't know, read tarots or something. But this is what we have to work with, and I hope I gave you like a practical way to use the LFO in your production. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe, and may the LFO be with you. Thank you.